Welcome to PC Witskits Tech Talk. Today we're doing part two of my video of the Intel Core i7-3820, the Sandy Bridge eCPU. This one here that I installed on my Rampage 4 Gene board is overclocked now. You can see the Noctua DH14 CPU cooler. You really need a good CPU cooler if you want this thing to uh, run overclocked on a unlocked processor. Now this one here, like I said, this CPU is partially unlocked, but good enough because previously I had it at 3.8 gigahertz with turbo mode enabled. That's the default without it being overclocked. And now you can see here in the Asus Turbo V Evo software, I have 1.4, about 1.5 volts, something like that. And uh, then I increased the um, multiplier to 38 and then the base clock to 125. So it, there's certain increments that this CPU supports, 100, 125. So 125 was the sweet spot there, increasing the multiplier to 38 and the voltage to 1.46 volts really does the job. And you can see it here, it's overclocked, it's running 100% full load. You'd never really run it at 100% full load, to be honest, uh, even if you try to push it hard, it'll run probably 80% load uh, at max. So um, these are really respectable temperatures. You can see the CPU fan here, the speeds that it's running at. And um, this is very good. Very good results for the uh, Noctua, again, running overclocked at 4.75 gigahertz. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll reach the uh, 5 gigahertz one day with, um, you know, a CPU cooler such as this. The uh, idea here, again, like I said, is to overclock smart and not like crazy. The um, AIDA64 benchmarks proved a lot of bandwidth increase and also uh, you can see here the read, write and the copy um, speeds that I'm getting, the amount of um, megabytes per second that uh, are transferred back and forth. And you can compare that with my previous results that I did when I ran it on default. Now here also the CPU queen results ranked this CPU overclocked in second place right underneath the uh, 3960X Extreme. So that shows you that when you overclock this CPU, we're getting, you know, high quality results now. Now, of course, you have to have good memory and uh, the memory that I have installed, whether it's Patriot or a Kingston memory, it is a CL11, it is a 2133 megahertz um, uh, memory DDR3 kit that I got. And of course, that does help it rank higher as well. So the better the memory, the more chances you're going to have of overclocking things successfully and stable. You can see here the results and um, there's no doubt about it that this machine is smoking hot, running super fast and that's what you want to see. Now the graphics card is doing a lot of the work of course when it comes to the game. So not too much uh, you're going to see an increase in frames per second. But overall here in um, PC Mark 7, for example, I had previously 5,200 on my score. Now I got 5,800, uh, for example, as the PC Mark score. 3D Mark 11, previously I had about 7,000, the, the performance score. Now it's 7,220. Now in 3D Mark Vantage, huge increase in the CPU score from when it was on default. Before on default, I was getting about 26054, that was the score on default. Now 31811, massive increase in performance there by overclocking at the 4.75 where it was nice and happy, stable, and uh, running very nice. And this CPU cooler, while it looks massive, it's super quiet. You can't go wrong with a Noctua super cooler like that. And uh, comment below, let me know what you think. And uh, you know, hopefully one day we'll get to five gigahertz on a CPU cooler like this. And again, thank you for watching.